The standards to keep San Jose State University in Division I football are high, but is the team hitting its mark? Reporter Lindsey Boyd went to the first game of the season to find out. Game days at Cefu Stadium are usually quiet. The line into the stadium is short and the seats are wide open. But this home opener against UC Davis was different. Um, it was a pretty packed crowd for our first game against UC Davis and that's really what they brought us in for. He is part of a marketing company called Aspire Sports Marketing Group. Ticket salesman Ian Fozzie said $25 tickets were still being sold minutes before the game. Um, I'd say a couple hundred myself, and I think each of us um, probably, probably 150 to 200 maybe a piece. The student section was full too. Students get into the games for free with their tower card. In fact, we were talking with some security guards who actually stopped letting students into the student section simply because it was too full. The attendance in the stands looked like it matched the attendance on paper. More than 12,000 recorded on paper and thousands sitting in the stands. And according to Lopez, the more fans that show up, the better chance SJSU can stay in Division I football. Um, we, to, in D1 football, we either have to have a minimum of 15,000, sorry, an average of 15,000 seats sold per game, or there's a, there's a revenue goal as well. Lopez was unsure what the revenue goal is, and according to NCAA, SGSU was 794 tickets shy of the average 15,000 mark. Mountain West declined to comment about SGSU football's attendance, but Lopez has hope SGSU can get more fans into the stands this year. From Cefu Stadium, Lindsey Boyd, Update News.